Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Edu channel. So today's topic is all about opioid analgesics. So these are drugs that will relieve the pain by acting on central nervous system. So these are opioid derivative drugs. So please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. So opioid analgesics are the drugs that significantly relieve the pain by acting at central nervous system or on peripheral mechanisms without affecting the general consciousness. So agents that relieve pain by non-selective desensitization of tissues, those are local anesthetics, protective and soothing effects, that is demulsions, chemical neutralizations, those are antacids, or by alerting consciousness, that is general anesthetics, are not called as analgesics. Okay. So those drugs that is altering the consciousness or soothing effect or desensitization of tissues, those are not actually analgesics. So the analgesics class is mainly divided into two main groups. So that is opioid analgesics. So those are narcotic or morphine-like analgesics. They will be having a structure resembling that of morphine. And the second main group is non-opioid analgesics that is analgesics which is having non-opioid characters that is no opioid properties those are also called as non-narcotic or aspirin like analgesics so the difference between narcotic analgesics and non-narcotic analgesics so narcotic analgesics will be having cns depression that is narcosis cns depression Whereas in case of non-narcotic, no significant CNS depression. So narcotic analgesics will work on deep-seated intense pain and non-narcotic analgesics will be mainly on superficial pain. So here antipyretic effect is absent. But antipyretic effect can be present or absent in case of non-narcotic analgesics. So anti-inflammatory effect is absent in case of narcotic. But in case of non-narcotic, that is mainly there are NSAIDs. So, anti-inflammatory action will be there. So, uh, toxicity will be high in case of narcotic and non-narcotic. Addiction will be high. That is, physical dependence is high in case of narcotic drugs. And addiction factor is absent in case of non-narcotic drugs. So, first of all, we will be dealing with opioids. So, opium is actually air-dried milky exudate obtained from poppy plant. That is, papaver somniferum and ripe seed capsules. So only the main two drugs have the clinical value that is morphine and codeine. So mainly used in clinical purpose are those two drugs. So it contains 32 alkaloids divided into two distinct groups that is benzyl isoquinoline group and phenanthrene group. So this is actually the phenanthrene group. So we have got a small problem with the alignment. So the benzyl isoquinoline group and phenanthrene group. So example is actually papaverin, noscapine and narcine in case of benzyl isoquinoline. And phenanthrene group we have morphine, codeine and thebane. So you can just see addiction is common in case of morphine, codeine and thebane group. And analgesia is there. And spasmolytic action is present in case of papaverin, noscapine and narcine group. So this is the papaver somniferum plant poppy plant or popium plant. So, Friedrich William A. Sertiola, he has actually isolated morphine in 1803 and named it after the Morpheus, that is the Greek god of dreams. So, opioid receptors. So, these receptors will work on certain principles and the opioid drug particles will be binding on these drugs to produce the actions of the opioid drugs. So that is mu, delta, kappa and sigma. So in mu there is analgesia, indifference, cough suppression, respiratory depression, cardiovascular depression, physical dependence and hypothermia. All properties are related to the mu type and delta we have probably analgesia and indifference. And in case of kappa we have mainly the analgesia, sedation and ataxia power. And in sigma we have euphoria and dysphoria, hallucination, excitement and probably analgesia we have for Sigma receptors. So the mechanism of analgesic effect of opioids that is actually through opioid receptors. So these are actually GPCR 
and the action is involved through inhibition of adenylacyclase enzyme causing decrease in intracellular second messenger that is cyclic AMP. So they are also linked to ion channels that is GPCR and G protein coupled ion channels interactions with which results in opening of K plus channel and inhibition opening of calcium channels cause hyperpolarization and non release of pain inducers. So there are certain molecules which are also known as the pain inducers. Those will act on certain nerves. So those molecules will not be reserved, uh, will not be produced at the synapse. That's how they will be blocking the pain sensation. So pharmacological effects of morphine on CNS mainly we have depression or excitement depending upon the species. Depression is mainly present in man, monkey and dog. Whereas in case of cat, cattle, sheep, goat and horse, we have got a small problem with the spelling of goat, pardon me. Excitement is mainly there. So convulsions in a spinal dog has analgesic effect due to central and peripheral actions that is blocking the nociception transmission. And also we have used for controlling of chronic deep seated pain. So on GIT there will be severe constipation that is first of all morphine causes emptying of GIT through vomiting and defecation. Now persistent and intense spasmogenic effect of smooth muscles of intestine will be causing constipation and they will be taking water up and the content will be like uh, very dry content and that will be due to the problem of constipation and all. So suppression of defecation reflex will be there, causes constriction of anal sphincter will be there that will be resulting in severe constipation. On respiration, there will be respiratory depression that is accompanied by reduced sensitivity of respiratory center to carbon dioxide. So we are forced to respiration only if the concentration of carbon dioxide increases in our body, then the respiratory center will be alarmed. So this will be reduced sensitivity of respiratory center. So that respiration ceases and in case of overdose, we will be not respira respiration will not be there and we will not be breathing and due to lack of oxygen we will be dying. So on respiratory case also severe bronchoconstriction will be there that is due to histamine release. So morphine can induce histamine release and the histamine is the drug which can cause bronchoconstriction. So on cardiovascular system uh, actually no effect on medullary vasomotor center the heart rate will be altered. And in case of cuff center, it is a potent antidepressive. That is, they will be suppressing the cuff by depression of the cuff center. And on emetic center, nausea and vomition through the stimulation of chemo trigger receptor zone. So on pupil, that is eye, mark dilatation in horse, monkey, sheep and cattle, etc. Pinpoint constriction in man. That is, whenever a man has got the morphine addiction, we can simply see through the pinpoint constriction. So bird pupil size is not altered due to presence of non-responsive skeletal muscle. So whenever we are administering morphine in case of birds and if we are going for pinpoint constriction checking there will not be any progress there. So you can see what happens in case of body temperature and kidney. In morphine, in kidney, the initially causes urination and later oliguria or anuria due to release of antidiuretic hormone. Okay. So increase in tone of urinary bladder and constriction of bladder sphincter that will lead to less urine production. So opioid receptor agonist and antagonist, we need to really care about those drugs. So opioid agonists are mainly morphine, codeine, hydromorphone, oxymorphone, meperidine, methadone. Opioid antagonist is actually naloxone, diprenorphine, naltrexone, nalmaphene. So naltrexone is very famous that is whenever we have got alcohol high usage or alcohol toxicity naltrexone will be often used as an antagonist and naloxone is also used as antagonist in case of morphine toxicity. So partial opioid agonists are buprenorphine and tramadol. Tramadol is actually used as a painkiller and muscle relaxant sometimes. So opioid agonist antagonist that is mixed activity will be mainly there for nalgothin, nalorphin, butarphanol and pentasosin. So morphine metabolism. So it is metabolized through conjugation in liver form glucuronides, morphine 3 glucuronide and nor and morphine 6 glucuronide. So the later has got analgesic effect than morphine that is morphine 3 glucuronide and morphine 6 glucuronide has got more analgesic effect than the initial component morphine. So the conjugates are excreted through bile in intestines. 
So clinical use of morphine is mainly used as an analgesic and in case of pre-anesthetic medication to control pain, to relieve post-operative pain and to treat severe diarrhea. So the side effect of morphine is gastrointestinal tract constipation. So to treat severe diarrhea, we can use the side effect of morphine. So mnemonics for morphine excess use or the properties of morphine you can just see that is meiosis that pinpoint pupil O4 out of study that is orthostatic hypotension respiratory depression pneumonia will be there that is due to mainly aspiration hypotension infrequency constipation urination nausea emesis sedation you can see M O R P H I N E S so morphine toxicity that can lead to CNS excitation constipation and sometimes liver failure and kidney failure so codeine is used as a phosphate salt to relieve coughing and as analgesic and is mainly present in many antitussives. So diamorphine that is actually heroin is about five times as potent as morphine as an analgesic and has got additive properties. Methadone is a synthetic compound approximately equipotent with morphine as an analgesic. So it is mainly used as an antitussive in case of syrups of horse and dogs. So pethidine it is about one tenth as active as morphine. And it is less likely than morphine to produce any narcosis and all because it is very less powerful than morphine. So apomorphine is less potent than morphine and has an analgesic and narcotic. But the central stimulant effects will be more in case of apomorphine. So we are using apomorphine often as an emetic centrally acting emesis drug. So they will be stimulating the CTC and in case of dog poisoning cases we can use it as an antiemetic. So dextromethorphan, uh, it has got the most properties of morphine including the analgesic, addictive and narcotic and spasmogenic action. Fentanyl is actually mainly used in case of neuroleptic analgesia that is droperidol fentanyl as innovarvet that is mainly neuroleptic analgesia. So fentanyl is approximately 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. So thebane derivatives are mainly etorphine and buprenorphine. You can see what properties etorphine and buprenorphine is having. Thank you.